It's the last real big summer weekend Chicagoans by the thousands went out and enjoyed it. The first recorded death was in Elk Grove Village. In Arlington Heights, three are now dead. This was a stone cold mystery, and it went on like this for days and days and days without knowing what had happened. I ran in, there was a young man laying on the floor. She was screaming, Stanley, Stanley, and she was grabbing onto my arm. And the next thing I knew, she groaned and collapsed right next to me. I'll never forget that young girl. I said it has to be the Tylenol. Seven deaths have been associated with the presence of cyanide in two containers of extra strength Tylenol. It caused a national panic. Not take Tylenol until further notice. Cyanide contaminated Tylenol. This funeral was huge. My grandma, she was gasping for air. I'll never forget that. The poison center has been deluged with telephone calls. Authorities who are conducting an intensive investigation feel tonight that some progress is being made in the search for the killer or killers. You are all aware of recent tragic events in limited areas after they left our factory. Well, how could all these different people have been poisoned by the same person at the same time? One day, everything fell apart. As soon as one lead reaches a dead end, there is another tip to track. We are going to be able to identify what happened. I've never speculated on who I believe did it. Do you think you know who did it? Yes.